This episode of Pen Point starts right now. This episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Squarespace. And I want to talk about something you wouldn't think someone would, would, would rant about. There's a lot to be pissed off about in this thing. Uh, there is a thing that just is, is passed um, Congress and is now going to probably be signed by President Obama. It's called the CALM Act. The, uh, let me see, the Commercial Advertisement Loudness Mitigation Act. The Commercial Advertise, commercial Advertisement Redundant um, uh, Loudness Mitigation Act, CALM. This is legislation that makes it so the FCC, I think it's the FCC, anyway, somebody in the government will control the volume of television commercials. The volume of television commercials will be controlled by the government because commercials sometimes go louder than the show, which you don't know because you TiVo and fast forward through it and you just don't even watch the commercials and you just take your programming for free or you load it down another site. Or when you're watching this, you try to get by the little commercials I throw in that I don't even know if my voice goes louder during that. But now you don't have to worry because now that will be controlled by the government with the commercial advertisement <laughs> loudness, that's the word, loudness, such an elegant word. A Commercial Advertisement Loudness Mitigation Act. They're going to turn down the volume on the TV. And I think if there's one way to show what people think about government, it's this act right here. If you think the this is a good act for the government, you have a different idea of what government does. You think government is supposed to make your life better. You think government is supposed to stop you from being irritated and stop you from being annoyed. If you think that about government, then I understand everything. If you're in favor of the CALM Act, then you have a different theory of government than I do. I think that this is nothing to do with the government's business. This is either saying that Amer and I don't even want to go for the Americans are too lazy to hit their mute switch on their fucking remotes, or they're too lazy to, um, to you know, you know, you could boycott easily. You just say any commercial that sounds louder to me, I will not buy their shit. I will not do it. And you could have commercials that advertise saying, you know, we're not louder than your other stuff, so buy our stuff. You could buy their stuff, and all of a sudden it would be solved in a second. But this is people who think that it's the government's job to do this. The government's job, because it's a good idea, the government should do it. Because you're annoyed, the government should do it. And all of it falls together. I mean, the 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 uh, the, uh, the acronym, you know, um, of uh, of calm too. Did I use that word right? Maybe not. I don't know. Because um, initialism and acronym. Yeah, uh, initial. It is an acronym. Um, calm. They go to all the trouble to spell out calm because the government is supposed to give its people calm. No, the government should work on protecting individual liberties. And the volume of TV commercials does not seem like an individual liberty. Man, no one's got jobs in the fucking country. We're printing money like it's going out of style and more important, it's going out of style. And now they have the Calm Act. I would think that you could rally all good thinking people who were in favor of liberty around this one issue and just go against anyone who spoke uh, in Congress about the CALM Act being, oh fuck, I hate this. And by the way, if, uh, if, um, if uh, Rev3 wants to pull part of my show to do as a commercial on someone else's show, just so it is legally a commercial, let's let them use this part. I'm against the fucking CALM Act! Is that loud enough for you? I'm against the fucking CALM Act! And oh, by the way, the FCC should not be able to stop me from saying fucking and fuck you. And soon, the FCC will take over the internet. And then, fuck you, I'm against the CALM Act. I've got nothing else to say. Co uh, government should not make you more comfortable. It should deal with the pursuit of happiness that you do on your own and not give you happiness. Calm act, oh fuck. Uh, and uh, there's a commercial right in here. And please, Rev3, please, 
pump the volume of the commercial. When my voice comes into the commercial, pump it up to the roof. I want it loud, 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 loud. Calm act my fucking aching balls. Jesus Christ. Ah! Squarespace offers users a flexible solution for anyone looking to create a blog, personal portfolio, or any kind of website. No matter what level of coding experience you have, Squarespace can provide the tools needed to create a high-end, complex website that is uniquely your own. Don't worry if you come across any questions or issues. Squarespace also offers every user 24-7 support. Squarespace's iPhone app was recently updated with all kinds of great new features like full HTML blog editing on the go and comment moderation. Get push notifications to approve new comments, mark existing comments as spam, reply to comments and more all from your iPhone. Many of the internet's highest trafficked web pages are powered by Squarespace, not to mention many of the personal pages of Revision 3 hosts and personalities. Go to www.squarespace.com to learn more. Be sure to enter code PEN when checking out to earn 10% off the lifetime of your order.